Hey guys, this is James from Isotropic, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to make a slide-out footer, uh, which is a unique effect that I use on many of my websites, uh, and it's just exactly what you see here. The footer slides out, and this is an old version of the page. The footer slides out from underneath the body content, and then you can also have a fixed footer underneath it. Uh, and this doesn't need to be a footer, but I think the best usage of this effect is within the footer of the website. So here it is in the wild. This is a site that I'm working on, a uh, uh, e-commerce site. And this slide out footer is the join our newsletter section. And it slides out at the bottom of the page, uh, displays a join our newsletter form. And I think that this kind of highlights the join our newsletter section. Uh, so maybe more people will be bound to enter their email here. And this isn't done. This needs to be styled. Maybe more people will be bound to enter their email here. But I think it also just looks pretty cool and is a neat effect to include on some websites. So this is inspired from the slide out footer article published in CSS Tricks. But it's a very simple, um, very simple chunk of code that anybody could figure out. Uh, I'll link this article alongside my companion article to this video in the description of this video. Um, so the way to do this is very simple. Here's your basic page structure. You have your header, you have your body section. So this is your body content. And then you have the uh, footer that you want to be slide out. Uh, and then you could also have a fixed footer underneath it. And I'm using Oxygen Builder to show you kind of how this works, but uh, the CSS can be used on any site. So if you're building it in a page builder, if you're using a WordPress theme, if you're on uh, any other builder, as long as you can add CSS styles to these sections, uh, you can even override it with the use of important maybe, uh, you can implement this feature of a nice little slide out footer. So. The way to do this is very simple. You have your standard page structure. This is all relatively positioned within the page. And then you have your slide out footer and you attach simply four lines of custom CSS code to it. So position, sticky, bottom and left, both zero and then Z index. For me, it's negative one, but depending on how you create your page and how you use Z index and the scale that you're using it on, uh, it could be it could be one, it could be five if this is um, this Z index is higher. All you want is the Z index for the body section to be higher than the Z index for the slide out footer. Um, if this isn't the case, the slide out footer goes on top of the content rather than behind it, which um, doesn't doesn't work. So uh, that's why the Z index is like that. The position sticky makes it sticky uh, and keeps it like that, but then also has it pull everything up once uh, the effect reaches the top of the section and then the bottom and the left zero position it here. Um, so if this is at the bottom of the page, then it's aligned to the bottom of the page. If it is a, uh, attached to a fixed footer, then it's aligned to the top of the fixed footer. The width is 100%. So it spans the entire, um, entire page and that's how it works. So uh, basically what's happening here is that this is positioned to be sticky um, and it is positioned on top of either the bottom corner of the page or the um, bottom corner of whatever it slots into. So if I removed this fixed footer, if I removed this fixed footer, um, it would just be attached to the bottom of the page. And the way it actually works, I'll use Z index to show you how this works, um, is that it's it's actually attached to the bottom of the viewport for the entire page scrolling duration. So let's make this Z index 10. And now the Z index is higher than the body content, which means it's going to be positioned on the top of the body content. And you'll see that this is actually positioned like so. Uh, and then once we once the effect reaches the bottom of the page, it pulls up if there's a fixed footer underneath it. Um, so we'll go back to neg negative one of the Z index. And now you'll see. So this is actually positioned. The slide out footer is actually positioned behind the body um, for the duration of the page. And it's just it's a it's aligned to the bottom corner and uh, it's just waiting for the the upper part of the page to be pulled away for it to slide out and for the fixed footer to be there. So again, four lines of CSS code 
included in the description of this article, attach it to the container of the section that you want to slide out from the bottom of your body content. Uh, position sticky, bottom and left, both zero, and then z-index negative, or just at least underneath the z-index of your um, header and your, your body content. And then this is what you can make with it. Um, just a very nice, unique slide out effect. I think it highlights the section that is sliding out. Uh, and then you can also have your um, fixed footer bar underneath it if you want. And then here's the article that everything was inspired from. Uh, there's your example. Here's a code pen example. And then here is um, the website that at least this article was inspired from. I've seen this in use everywhere. Uh, as you can see, it's a big news website recently launched and it just pulls out like so. Very simple slide out footer. Um, sticky effect, very simple to implement, uh, and hopefully this video taught you something new, and you can use this in your web design, uh, web design endeavors.